this first location, we visited Museum Bahad. We were guided by a guide from the museum to go straight to the second floor. On this second floor, there is a tool for picking up species that have been hundreds of years old since the colonial era. And after that, the guide showed a painting. The painting is the hero Laksamana Kumala Hayati who came from Aceh. Then, we went to the library and also we watched an animation by the nation children that tells the journey of the Indonesian state in the colonial era. After that, we entered the diorama room. Inside the diorama room, there are statues that explain historical events when the colonial colonized Indonesia. Several countries displayed in the diorama room at the Maritime Museum are Chinese, Arab, Hindu, Portuguese, Dutch, British, and also Japanese. On the first floor, there are various types of collections of historical maritime objects ranging from VOC cannons, replicas of various Indonesian boats, modern boats, finisi, shipping navigation tools, anchors, binoculars, original boats, species, shipping documentation, and also painting. And after that, we went to the Shah Bandar Tower, which is near the Maritime Museum. The Shah Bandar Tower, which has a height of 12 meters, functions as a monitoring tower for ships entering and leaving Batavia City by sea and serves to collect taxes on goods unloaded at the Sunduk Kelapa Port. The uniqueness of the Shah Bandar Tower is that this tower was built at a slight angle with the aim of providing a wider view of Sunda Klapa Harbor. In the evening, we went to Betawi village, it called Perkampungan Satu Babakan. In this place, a guide guided us into a building in the Satu Babakan. Inside the building, there are several rooms containing Betawi's art and culture, such as Andel Andel, Betawi Batik with various motifs, one of which is the Ondel Ondel motif. Betawi traditional houses, Betawi traditional wedding gifts are called Sesarahan, which include pineapple battle, plantain, fresh bread, crocodile bread, petishi, miniature mosque, jung or Chinese boat, kakudang, and pesaling. And the last one is the Betawi Weapon. This trip to Museum Bahari and Satu Babakan was really fun because in this activity, we were allowed to explore Indonesian maritime, history and Betawi art and culture. Even though we were tired because we left at 7 am and only came home at 5 pm, but we spent time together with exciting activity and I hope I can go back to this historic place again.